Today we're going to go on a walking tour of downtown Sarasota, home to the arts, restaurants, and shopping. Come along. And this is Palm Avenue. It's lined with boutiques, restaurants, and condominiums. Recently a new hotel opened up here. Ten o'clock in Sarasota. Listen to those church bells ring. And you're looking at the Dolphin condominiums. There was a scandal when the condominium had to be evacuated for almost five years because it was likely to collapse. They reinforced the building, had a lot of litigation. My understanding is people are moving back into the Dolphin. Good as new. And the day's just full of possibilities as we look at a southern portion of Palm Avenue. Sarasota's happening. Lots of young baby boomers moving here to retire. Look, another luxury condominium under construction here. He's old the end of December. On the left is a new hotel called The Loft. Adjacent to it are some new luxury apartments. And this is a new outdoor atrium at The Loft Hotel that just opened up on Palm Avenue. Years ago, when I was a single guy, I used to live in Gulfstream Towers. It's a very nice retro building with glorious views of the bay. Now we're looking north on Palm Avenue. On the left, the burnt color building was once a historic hotel. Now it's called the Orange Blossom. I really enjoy looking at the morning sun here on Palm Avenue. Look at the blue sky. Look at the palms swing in the wind. And look at this woman painting outside the gallery. A great day to be inspired in downtown Sarasota. One nice thing about Sarasota is that they paid a lot of attention to putting in decent landscaping. Look at this beautiful tree-lined street. It's called Main Street. A nice malls in Sarasota, but you can't replicate the experience of going for a nice stroll down Sarasota's Main Street. Another spectacular view of the western portion of Main Street. There are many restaurants, taverns and boutiques here. And the right is a fit to run designer running store. And now we're looking east on Main Street. On the weekends on this intersection of Main and Lemon, there's a popular farmer's market full of produce and exciting booths with art. It's great western view of Main Street. See all the mom and pop stores, few restaurants, there's an office building and a nice public square. The restaurant over there is called Patrick's. They're famous for their hamburgers. Get Parker's Books. It's a great place where you can buy all kinds of used books. And this is one of the happening spots in Sarasota. It's outside the bakery called Pastry Arts. Lots of outdoor tables where you can get a great cup of coffee and appreciate your baked goods. Today, the croissants and muffins look yummy. I wish you could smell how beautiful the baked goods smell. Coffee is very ar aromatic too. And this is some newly installed public art on the corner of Orange in Maine. Kind of an innovative approach to art. I'm not too fond of it though. This is another nice middle section. There's a Baptist church and stores along Main Street. To the left is the former Ellis Bank building, now home to Michael Saunders. We're continuing our walk down Main Street. We see more service type stores. Some beauty shops, some real estates, and also some jewelry stores. On the left is the neoclassical First Baptist Church. You're looking at First Street, home of Sarasota City Hall and many of its government services. The building has been inspired by the Sarasota School of Architecture. And this is another sweeping view of Main Street, looking towards Evie's Tavern. I like the chicken wings and also they have pretty decent nachos there. There's even a small bowling alley. Now we're walking past C'est La Vie. It's an authentic French bistro that serves a classic French breakfast. 
enjoy the baguettes, I particularly enjoy the apricot croissants. I recommend sitting outdoors though. Well, the one side is pretty nice too. Now we're walking on the north side of the street past Mal's Cut Rate Liquor Store. It hasn't been renovated in probably 30 years. Feel the dust. There are things I like about Sarasota and some things I think are ridiculous. This is considered Sarasota public art. Why would you want to paint some stupid looking bicycles lemon yellow and then paint a pink flamingo yellow? I don't get it, but this is part of living in Sarasota. Oh, look at this beautiful vintage store of vintage gowns and high class furniture. Yeah, I love the sun hitting the street here on Main Street. Look at this fine cookware store. Only Sarasota would have a designer bus station. Now you're looking south on Lemon Avenue. Lemon Avenue is closed off every Saturday for a nice farmer's market here in downtown Sarasota. Hey, look at this fountain. Sarasota, for a city its size, is lucky to have a great Whole Foods market with plenty of fresh produce, flowers, and healthy food. This looks like an interesting complex being built. It says there are restaurants available. I imagine they're going to have some apartments and condos too. And this is the interior of the beautiful Whole Foods. Look at those rotisserie chickens. Fancy cheese, prepared foods, and a hot buffet. Here's another Sarasota ridiculous green bicycle, this time with pink flowers. Obviously, Sarasota takes great pride in its public spaces. Here we are at Five Points, a nice little park home to many festivals here in Sarasota. Right now, we are walking along this beautiful path. Now we're walking along Five Points Park. We're passing the Sarasota Opera, and this is just a beautiful opera house here in Sarasota, home to many great cultural events. The opera is an institution here.